Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. This week's postpartum workout is a 25 minute workout with optional dumbbells. We're also gonna do an ab healing and toning section at the end. If you don't have dumbbells, you can absolutely just do it without any weights at all, or you can grab a couple of filled water bottles to use as weights. This workout is also low impact or no jumping, and I will also have safe modifications if you have diastasis recti or you're just been cleared for exercise after a C-section. I put out new postpartum workouts every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm just using light dumbbells for this workout. So for reference, I've got seven, five, and three pound dumbbells here, but please use whatever weight feels good for you. We'll do 45 seconds of movement with a 15 second break or setup. The first couple moves are gonna be more of a warm up, so we can put down our dumbbells before we pick them back up again. We're gonna set up for low impact jumping jacks, or if you wanted to do regular jumping jacks, feel free to go ahead if it's safe for you. Core is nice and tight, lower belly pulling in. We're gonna step into a reverse lunge here, getting 90 degree angles and pulling your arms back, using your back muscles every time we step back and go. Awesome, we can go ahead and pick up our dumbbells. I'm gonna pick up five pounds. We're gonna do a side lunge with an upright row, like that, and 45 seconds, go. I'm gonna place one weight down. You can either do this with no weights or pick up a weight. We'll do crab walks. We're going to bend into a squat, nice and low. Engage your core, pull in your lower belly. And crab walks, nice and low. Backwards. Feet hip width distance apart, bending our knees, we'll move into tricep kickbacks. One hand can be on your thigh 
engaging your triceps when you're up into your body. Setting up on the other side. Coming into a curl, holding your arms tight into your body. We're gonna go up on our toes, squat down, core is engaged. Come up, squeezing your glutes and your thighs at the top. Lots of control. Setting up in a sumo squat, we'll bring our weights up to our shoulders. Squat down, heels up. As you come up, shoulder press, or if you have diastasis recti, skip the shoulder press. Squeezing at the top. Palms up, external rotation, and in. You can either squat down without a wall or we're gonna do a wall sit, letting your 
yourself slide down the wall core is engaged lateral lifts out steady breath Shake it out. You can place your weights down and we'll have a quick water break here. Grabbing your weights again, we'll set up for all four rows and a knee lift. If you have diastasis recti, you can skip the knee lift. Engaging your core, pressing up. We can get into a modified side plank here and we'll do clamshells. Lower belly is pulling in. Releasing down onto your side. Our back foot is gonna come up like a kickstand. We're going to pull our knee in, lower belly's engaged, and inner thigh kick up. Lower belly pulling in, engaging your glutes. I got your wrapped around my finger. 
Again, re-engaging your lower belly, diaphragmatic breathing into your ribs. Optionally, you can grab a couple of weights. We'll get down safely on our side. For a bridge, you can do these without weights or add the weights by placing them on your hips. Kegel, squeezing your glutes, releasing your Kegel fully between. We're gonna do a water glass tilt if you have diastasis recti, engaging your lower belly and letting your leg tip out just as far. If you don't have diastasis recti, you can lift up and do them from a higher position. Your body is staying nice and stable. Then place your hands on the inside of your bony hip protrusion, engage your lower belly, and we'll do pelvic tilts. Exhale, Kegel, release, relax. You did amazing. We're done the hip portion of the workout. We're gonna stretch it out now. We can come to our knees. If this is hard on your knees, you can roll up the mat. We'll take a lunge here. You can either stay up on your knee or if it feels good, you can go down on your hands or your elbows. A couple of deep breaths here. You also have the option here to grab your back foot or a quad stretch. Releasing if you have your foot, we'll switch to the other side.
releasing into your hip flexor. Bringing up your back leg for a quad stretch if you'd like. Good. Release down, pushing back up onto our knees. We'll go into puppy pose here walking your hands out and stretching through your armpits. You can also place your elbows down, clasp your hands, and reach your hands towards your back. Stretching through your triceps here, pulling back on the mat for a deeper stretch. Good. Releasing out. We'll come to a wide-legged forward fold. Just however far feels good for you. Go back and forth. Walk our hands forward and release here. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me, but when there's complications, you would draw in me. Coming back up, we can cross our legs. We'll do one more chest opener here. You can bring your hands behind and press up onto your knees, opening up through your chest. Releasing down. We are done the workout and stretch. That was an extra challenging workout, especially if you use the dumbbells or water bottles or cans of beans. And so you really did amazing. I use dumbbells today, but I would love to know if there's another piece of equipment that you'd like me to make a video using. And of course, I'm gonna keep making postpartum videos every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up and share it with another mom friend or mom community that you think would enjoy it. I also have lots of free resources for postpartum moms. I will link to them in the description box below. You can click on the little arrow to get down there. I have a monthly postpartum workout plan where you get a new workout for every day of the month. I have my diastasis recti healing guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. I have a weight loss course that I put together as a registered dietitian and a bariatric educator, as well as a guide and strategies on how to increase your breast milk supply. Thank you so much for joining me again, and I hope to see you in the next video.